Oh, this one came up real good. But yeah, this is delicious. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm back home. Yeah, I look kind of cray cray. I'm planning on doing my hair. I am just got back Friday from my business trip, but now I'm preparing to go on a cruise. So my bag is still here sitting. So I need to clean this out and wash up my clothes so that I can get ready and pack for my cruise. I'm excited about it, y'all. I'm excited. Even though the business trip was a business trip, it was still good because I got to spend time with my dad. But now this is just straight fun. So we're going on a carnival cruise and I share later where we're leaving out of and all the other things that we're going to be doing in the next vlog because that's when i'll kick start that whenever we get on our way but yeah i need to prepare i forgot to show y'all before my nails in the last vlog i did them for my business trip i forgot to show y'all but i want to take these off and redo them the same color because i really like this color it is, what is it, pink? What is it, white? Is it pink, is it white? I think that's the name of it. Is it pink, is it white? Um, so I wanna redo that. I got my daughter a nail polish remover thing. Ooh, this is my light. Nail polish remover little kit thing. I'm gonna try it out. She's never tried it, but we, we trying it. Hopefully I can get to it today because I need to take it off. I want to show y'all my outfit. That's why I'm over here. Just to show y'all my little outfit and my wind, my mirrors that I still love. Thank you so much, Karen, for helping me, but I really do love them. But since my lighting is funky, I was gonna move over here. Hopefully it's better. But yeah, I wanna take these off so that I can put a new set on and um, try out her system that she got i think she got it for christmas one of her friends she put it on her wish list my daughter put it on her wish list and one of her friends purchased it for her for christmas trying to get the angle right but this is it it's supposed to take the gel polish off fairly simple but i supposed to give it a try and i'll let y'all know how it works it's supposed to be like you sting your polish off instead of having to soak them so i don't know what this is in the box i guess i'm doing an unofficial unboxing because it's her stuff not mine and it came with this dome type covering over it make sure i put it back together and this is the machine. Small. And then it has the little hand thing. And then the plug, the adapter. I don't know what this is. Something wrapped up. And the rest of the, the plug. So I plan on doing that today, but first I need to wash my hands and wash my dishes and then read these instructions, soak this off because in order for me to do my hair, I have to take these off because if you see, like, if I can get you up close, at the beginning it lifts. It lifts at the beginning of my nail bed here, the cuticle. I don't have it on my nail, on my skin, but it lifts after some time. So whenever I'm doing my hair, when I have gel nails, it, my hair gets underneath it and it snags and pulls it out. And I'm trying to thicken. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm trying to thicken my hair back up. It looks like it's thinned out some to me. So I've been trying to thicken it up. And if I'm going to do my hair, I'm going to go ahead and take these off to make sure that I don't have those snags. And I probably will end up putting on gloves whenever. I, I don't know because it sounds weird when I'm trying to 
twist my hair because I want to wash it. Yeah, it's dirty. I want to wash it and do some mini twists so I don't have to fool my hair. I was going to add hair to my hair. But from my experience, when I add hair, I feel like I get more breakage. Then if I just twist my hair and pull it back in ponytails or updos and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work on it. So my goal this week. Y'all here's a goal, right? Um, take this nail polish off. Wash my hair. Do mini twists. Do my laundry. Wash my linen off my bed. Get all that done. So then. Oh, and pack. Don't forget, we got to pack. Hey. You had a good day? It was all right? Yeah. What? It wasn't good? It wasn't good. I wouldn't say it wasn't good. It was just all right. Um, well, huh? I'll be tired. All you want to do is lay in the bed. Uh-uh. So I got up out of bed and I went to what? School. And where I go? I don't know what you did. <laughs> Whatever. That's good. So that's my plan for this week. And Kira, can you, you need to go get the big luggage for us? The orange, the blue one, the white one. Because so I'm gonna empty that one, and we, I gotta put that one back up. I was thinking, do you think we could fit it, all our stuff in that one? So I need the big one. Because we gonna put our shoes, and I'm putting some heels. And I'm going to put my dresses in there. How many wow. dresses? Probably two. Okay, so and get the I, big I'll one out. The thing. Get the big one out and put it in my on my floor. Well, put it in my room. I mean, not on my floor, but in my room on the floor. On your floor. Yeah, Either basically. <laughs> <laughs> well, put it in my room because cause I need to like start packing. Because if it's there and open, I'll start doing it. But if we don't have it out, it's going to take me a while. But I'm going to go ahead and do these dishes. Y'all seen me do dishes time and time again. So I'm going to do dishes and then I'll come back because I need to eat. Because I want to eat, then take the nails off. But I really want to show y'all this nail thing and see if it really works. I got acetone, but I ain't got no meal secret acetone. But we're going we gonna to do this. Exciting. And then we... If I get my nails off today, I feel like I did something. Hopefully, I can get to washing my hair and putting it in plait so I can prepare to get ready to do the, tw the mini twist. Not too many, but little mini twists. Medium, might, might medium size. We'll see. Whatever it comes out. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wash my dishes and I'll be back. Alright, y'all. So we finna start. My dishes is clean, so we can go ahead and start getting these nails off. It said to use remove unit cover. I did that. <sighs> Open the unit by rotating the finger caps to the left. Let's see about this. You see it? Finger caps to the left. Open. That was easy. Then it says replace the finger cap. Okay, I said, open the unit, <laughs> I'm skip, remove and set aside, pour Mia Secret Acetone Artificial Remover in the remover plastic container inside the unit. Is that what these are for? What is this? What is this is for? Plastic. So now it says I need to file the layer off right here. Let me see, can I show y'all what I'm doing and not just tell y'all? So I have all this stuff. This is the lid. I pour the acetone into here, one of these plastic things in there. So I'm going to put the lid back on. like this so the lid is on this is where my fingers gonna be at but it says to prepare my nails I need to break the seal buff the artificial 
about uh, <coughs> artificial cells. Buff the artificial nail surface with a hundred millimeter, a hundred, a hundred, five, I'm talking millimeter. I have this, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna buff it a little bit and get some of this uh, shiny coat off. And once I get the shiny coat off, then I'm going to dust them off. I might wash it, wash my hands. And then, let me get a nap. So, after I finish this, I'm going to wash my hands and put it in the machine. But in order not to bore you, I'm going to go ahead and stop, and I'll come back when we're ready to put it in there. All right. All right, y'all. I think I got enough off. What y'all think? I got the top coat off. But I'm going to turn it on. I don't know if it got the heat up first. But I did break the barrier, the seal coat off. I buffed that off. And then I eliminated the dust. So it says place it in there for five minutes. Let me see. He said it ain't even okay. Okay, so I got to wait. So I got it turned on, and I have to wait until it beeps. So once it beeps, I'll come back, y'all, and we gonna be ready. But I got all my dust. Got to make sure all the dust is off my nails, so we can be ready. Like, how do you do this? Ooh, it's hot. Hey, Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes starting now. Go right here. It's lifting up in the back. I think I'm going to get my nail thing because it'll pull it up So, Oh, let me go get it. Got this. Using this. Off. I only use this tool. Let me see if I can show this tool, and it cleaned my nails off. And now I just have to buff them, but all the polish is off. So I'm about to turn this on. I did this one hand. I'm gonna turn this on and let it heat up. It's on. It's on the. Let me see. Let me make sure I'm telling y'all right. It's on the H, and once it heats up, it'll go to the S. And I have to soak it for five minutes. And once I soak it, then I pull them out and then they'll be able to come up, lift up. I told my daughter I'm going to get me one, but hopefully she'll just let me use hers. <laughs> Her, use hers, hopefully. She'll let me use hers. We'll see. But this thing actually worked. Look at all that nail stuff. It's actually working. And this is the nail polish that I really like. And it is this by D and D, and this is the color. If I can get the thing to stay, yeah. So this is the color, and it's by D and D. So I'm gonna buff this sometime. That, well, I'm gonna buff it probably today. No, I probably buff it before I wash my hair. So that it won't have any friction in my head. But yeah, I'm going to buff this. I'm going to do this hand. Then I'm going to eat dinner. I'm going to eat dinner. My daughter made some lobster mac. And I'm going to warm that up with cabbage. 
and cornbread. So that's probably what I'm gonna eat for dinner. And then I'll wash my hair after I eat. So then I'm gonna be sitting and detangling it and everything else. But I wanted to wash it. It doesn't look like it's dirty, but it's dirty. I think the fact that I've been blowing it out and doing my twist, my scalp dries out quicker. So I get a lot of sebum on my scalp. So, mm, I'm still going to uh, blow my hair out and wear twist outs. I just have to wash my hair once a week. Which, that's how often I should be watching my, washing my hair anyway. But, I just don't like washing it all the time. I'm going to go ahead and put this other hand in there as soon as it... Well, it's on S. It's telling me to soak. Put this hand in there to soak. Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes starting now. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit for five minutes and let this get done. And hopefully we'll be done with this soon. It's working really well. Less than five minutes to do this. Less than, that was great. And my nails feel strong and healthy. I'm going to put this in the in the description. I think I'm going to get me one. But I'm, I don't want to get one. But I'm going to put it in the description. But I'm going to use it all the time. Because my nails be feeling brittle after I take this um, the gel off. Whenever I'm filing it or I go to them to take it off. But this is so much better. This one came up real good. All gone. I just washed them, y'all, and this is how they look. So it works the link will be in the description especially for the health of your nails if you want your nails to be healthy but do the gel nails because it does last a bit longer but this is a game changer i used to use that drill and i couldn't gauge it so i was messing up my nails just like they were messing up my nails but my nails are thick I have really naturally thick nails, but I was thinning them out by using the drill. So this right here is very useful. Look at them nails. I like it. And I'm gonna take and buff them and then put some more polish on. But this is good enough for me to wash my hair. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. Put my stuff back and get ready to eat my lobster mac and stuff i show y'all my food when i get it together but i have to clean this up first but i'll be back this is my food this is the lobster mac and cheese i got some more in the refrigerator but that's gonna be for tomorrow this is the cabbage and the cornbread so this is my dinner so what she does is once a month she cooks a big old dinner and she invites us over. And we use these to go bowls. I got a lot of mac and cheese on the top. But we use these to go bowls from Sam's. And I'm, I'm going to go buy some more because I got rid of a lot of my old um, containers. But I think it's good to have your to-go bowls. So like Christmas, Thanksgiving, when they come over, when we're cooking meals and stuff, and they want to take something to go, they'll have these. So I'm going to buy these to have them in the house. And I actually like them. I know I was trying to get away from eating out of plastic, but even, even if they take it as a to-go bowl and put it in a dish and eat and heat it up, which I didn't do today, I just heat it up in here. But yeah, this is delicious. Yeah lobster mac with truffle oil she was trying something out and she tried real good because this is delicious i almost ate the whole pan with half of the pan by myself and the cornbread is good and the cabbage she cooked the cabbage the way i cook my cabbage so i would eat it and she did a really good job but that's her thing that she want to do for the family once a month is cook a big meal have us come over and get to go plates and just eat her food 
Because she likes to cook and she likes to feed people. And we get to eat. So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this and sit here and look at Law and Order Criminal Intent. I didn't know they had that one, but it showed up when I was watching the other ones. And it just popped on. And I'm on season one, episode eight. Yeah. So I've been binge watching this. And after I finish my food, I'm going to wash my hair. And then I'll detangle it and put it in some plaits. So then I can work on it every day when I get off work. Hopefully, tomorrow I'll be done with this hair thing. We'll see. But I have until... Thursday to be done because I don't have nothing to do Tuesday or Wednesday after I get off work. I do have something to do on Thursday. I have to go to the chiropractor. No. Is it Thursday? Yeah, Thursday I go to the chiropractor. And then I probably get my, I get a pedicure. I got to fit in a pedicure sometime this week. So I don't know how that's going to work, but let me go ahead and eat so I can wash my hair and detangle it and get ready to bring my dirty clothes down and separate that so I can wash that tomorrow. So I'm trying to get a lot done in a short period of time, a week. All right, y'all, I'm using this. Let me see. I'm using this. The lid got broke as soon as I opened it the first time I used it. So I'm using this. I'm trying to use up all my old products. So I don't have a lot of products sitting around here. So this is, I'm using this and then I'm going to use the leave-in conditioner. But yeah, this is what I'm using. If I wash my hair, I will be cleaning my sink. y'all my hair is done this is how i'm going to bed i'm going to put this on it so that i can sleep and let it air dry this right here helped me last time so i'm going to use it again and now i'm going to go in there and separate get my clothes out go ahead and clean this out unpack it so we can go ahead and start packing this one for our trip so that's what i'm going to do after i wrap my hair is clean this out and separate my dirty clothes and take them downstairs so I can be prepared to wash them tomorrow. Alright, so I think I'm done for tonight. My clothes are separated for to go in the laundry tomorrow. I don't want to put them in tonight because I'll be asleep by the time they dry, more than likely. So, I mean, by the time they finish washing. So I don't want to have them sitting in the washer overnight. So I'll put them in in the morning, get that washed up, and that's it. I'm going to go to sleep with my hair like this. It's a microfiber um, tile thing. So it doesn't cause any friction to my hair. And it is warm here. So I don't think I'll get have get sick or anything. Because I already got allergies. So 
But yeah, I did everything that I plan on doing today. I washed my hair, I detangled it. I cleaned out my old suitcase, got my new suitcase. I started packing and I'll do laundry tomorrow and twist up this head tomorrow. So I'm doing good. This is Monday. Monday, uh, what is this? Monday, March 4th and I've done all that. I took my polish off to prep so I could do my hair. I put my nails on later. Well, polish my nails again later. But yeah, I did everything. So tomorrow is clothes and hair. I get all that done, I'm good. But my battery is about to die, so I'll talk to y'all tomorrow.